Every year, nearly 90,000 patients undergo a kidney transplant worldwide. Following the first transplantations in the 50s, allograft survival improved tremendously, with the graft surviving longer and longer. However, there has been no improvement in the survival rate over the past 20 years. And today, 20% of patients lose their new kidney within five years of transplantation. These patients must be put back on dialysis whilst they return to the waiting list, hoping for a new transplant. So we need to extend the survival of transplanted kidneys. To achieve this, patient monitoring after transplantation should be improved with an individualized understanding of the graft evolution and a personalized treatment. At the Paris Transplant Group, we investigated this by learning from historical records of more than 7,000 patients. For each patient, we collected more than 50 parameters, including histopathological, clinical and biological data. And among those, we identified eight parameters in our model that are able to accurately predict the graft survival. We have computed these parameters into an algorithm named iBox. For each transplanted patient, we are now able to predict their probability of graft survival at 3, 5 and 7 years ahead. The iBox has been tested on an external cohort of 4,000 patients and in three additional randomized clinical trials. The iBox risk prediction score has been proven to be highly reliable for patients, male and female, from Europe and the US, from different ethnic and social backgrounds, from different allocation systems, covering distinct clinical scenarios, and with different treatment. The iBox is the most validated score available in transplantation. The team at the Paris Transplant Group developed the iBox to guide patient monitoring and made it adaptable to most clinical scenarios, aiming for longer graft survival. Also, for the next generation of clinical trials, the iBox could accelerate the development of novel anti-rejection treatments, help researchers design new studies, and also constitute a valid and early surrogate endpoint. This would accelerate the development of novel anti-rejection treatments. Get further information about iBox in the publication from Alexandra Lupi and his team.